Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin and today we are starting a very fun project that's really been on my back burner for a while and I've been a little bummed that I haven't been able to work on it until now, but I'm like, quarantine is the perfect time to start brand new large scale art projects, so why not? So what I'm talking about is the sketchbook project. This is run by the Brooklyn Library and it's a really cool project. I got one for myself and my mom to try out, but basically what you do is this little packet comes with a sketchbook and you can basically do whatever you want with it as long as it fits back in this sized envelope and is the same size as when you got it. So you can fill it with as many things as you want. You can paint, you can draw, you can do collages, you can put photography, whatever you want in here is like, as long as it fits, then it's good. So what they do is they take it around on like a little library bus and they have different like series that they release every, I think it's every six to seven months and there's different prompts you can follow for that series. So then when you visit the bus, you can be like, oh, okay, so all of these books can have any of these themes. And then I also got mine digitized, so you can technically check this book out on their website once I have completed it. So officially, like I said, I have till August 15th to fully fill this sketchbook and get it sent back. So in terms of like getting it shipped there on time, I just need to get it in the mail before the end of May. So I'm gonna try to finish it in about two to three weeks and see how it goes. So this one is technically volume 16 of the sketchbook project. So I'm gonna put all the themes right here and uh, this one was a little hard for me to pick. Basically, it had two themes that I felt very connected to in terms of like them working really well with me and my style. It was either gonna be monsters and moments or delicate dragons, and I'm like, oh man, both would work great. But I decided to go for monsters and moments since I'm already doing the dragon challenge on my channel. I thought it'd be really cute to just draw monsters in like different day-to-day -day lifestyle moments, like drinking coffee or doing random things or like playing ball. I don't know, I, I haven't really fully planned what I wanna do with these monsters and moments. I thought we could kind of discover it together as we slowly go through the sketchbook. But I do want your guys' participation in this. So this is the intro video for this. I'm gonna just do a couple of pages here in this video, but I want you guys to send in your ideas so we can kind of make this sketchbook together. So if you wanna go follow me on Twitter or there's going to be a new feed in the Discord, you can share your ideas of how a monster would be in a moment. So like I said, an example would be, I'm just gonna throw one out there, like Cthulhu drinking coffee, you know, something like that. Even more pop culture themed monsters are totally up for grabs. Like if you wanna try out, like, like I said, Cthulhu or Godzilla or anything like that, Make sure, go down in the description, I'll have a link to the tweet as well as a link to the Discord. And I'd love to see what you guys think of and we can kind of build some really cool, cute monsters in this. So not all of them are going to be featured in video form, I'm just letting you guys know, but you'll be able to check out the full digitized sketchbook and I'll make an announcement video once it's all up and on their website. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump in and start our sketchbook project. So what I'm doing here is I'm just sketching out some thumbnails. I wanna design this cover and I just am trying to figure out how I want to design it. So let's sketch some little thumbnails. So basically for these covers, I'm not the best at hand lettering and like hand typography, like it's not really my strong suit. Um, I could try it if I just take my time and maybe we could put like a little like title of the monsters in moments so then they know which theme it is maybe. Um, but I have a couple ideas on like what I want to do. Like one of them, I think it'd be really cute to have like this really cute looking, of course we're gonna have dragons by the way. It's gonna happen because even though this is a monsters thing, I think dragons would be super cute. But imagine this little table and there's like a little coffee cup and like the dragon is reading like a cute little book or something. So I'm really, I'm doing really basic rudimentary thumbnailing. Um, but I like the idea of this cover being very simple, except for this little detailed thing in the corner. I think it'd be really cute. And then maybe we could put the text here or not even put text. We could even just put a monster in the corner and then just leave it at that and just leave the whole cover very simple. So, okay, we got a little dragon with some coffee and um, a book. I'm trying to think what else we could do. It'd be kind of cute. The next one I have an idea for is a kappa. So it's a little Japanese like turtle person, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, I don't know. I think it'd be really cute to have him like 
holding a surfboard because <laughs> they're kind of more water-based creatures. Maybe that could be something cute. And then like a little bit of sand here. I don't know if I like that one as much. Maybe, maybe not that idea. Another one that could be another cute one is kind of like a larger dad-like creature. I mean, let's just say, let's say it's like a minotaur, okay? Maybe, maybe a minotaur. And he's like on a recliner chair and like his little kids, I'm trying to think how I could position them. It'd be kind of cute to just have the little kids like maybe painting on his face or they put him in like goofy glasses, like maybe glasses with the little uh, fake nose and mustache and like one of the kids is up here. And then another one could be over here. Maybe something like that could be pretty cute. Another one could be, I don't know what type of monster, but I maybe I'm a little inspired by the Onward movie that I watched recently, but like a little police officer monster conducting traffic, maybe like a centaur. I think that would be kind of fun. Maybe some type of police officer like monster. This is hard because like, I, I think these would all be cute. I'm still really gravitating towards my first idea up here. I just wanted to get a couple of ideas down, but I think this would fit really well, like right in this space right here and be really nice in some gray tones and we could just play with the brown paper. I think that would be really cute. I, I think I'll try that out because um, I, I like these other ideas, but at least for me, I'm just really heavily thinking this idea I like the most. I could probably brainstorm a few more thumbnails, but I really want to jump in and draw our cute little dragon with coffee. All right, so let's go ahead and get some sketches going on this thing. Maybe actually, let me bring my paper back. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna try to do like one more thumbnail so I can kind of finalize the look of this first. Cause you know, this is kind of a one and done thing. Like, I don't think this is gonna be very erasable friendly. I mean, I could test it right now. Oh, actually it comes off pretty easy. So I could technically go straight to this, but I'm gonna just do a little bit more of a detailed thumbnail for myself. And I'll just go ahead and cut to you guys seeing this drawing. All right, guys, I did a little rough thing of this and I realized I forgot the R, which is why we do rough things first because I apparently forgot how to spell. Anyway, I'm gonna try doing this hand type script up here. I'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit, but uh, wish me luck because this is not my strong suit. No, it's not perfect. I think it does the job and I think it's cute. Like I said, typography is not my strong suit, but I think it's still I think it's still kind of cute. It's just like a little fun little typography thing. And I really like how this dragon turned out. I think it's super cute and I like doing this thicker outline and adding the white highlights and everything. Um, I think the darker darks I could have done without doing because I feel they're a little too dark. I think I jumped too dark on the Copics, but I think it looks good. I think he looks super cute with his little book. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump in. I think I'll do the first couple pages here. All right guys, so I made a call out to you guys on Twitter to send me some different monster ideas for this prompt. Let's go ahead and pick our first one from here. There was a lot of really, great suggestions. You guys had some really cute ideas for how you can make like different 
cute monsters and moments. Ooh, this is tough. Let's try to figure out what we are going to do first. I really like a normal ADN suggestion of what about a mama harpy bringing her kids to harpy school. Let's start with that one because I feel that one's quite a challenge to figure out the three and how to bring them to like harpy school and make them like cute little harpies. So let's let's try that one first on our first spread. What I'm thinking for these um, is I'm going to include either a printed out picture or like well, yeah, probably a printed out picture and just mount it in the page or on this side of the page of uh, the suggestion that you guys sent. And so all of your names will also be included in this sketchbook. So then people can be like, oh, so she got the idea from this tweet. So I'm going to get a piece of paper to put under here to try to avoid any bleed through because I think this paper is pretty thin, at least in terms of Copics. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to grab the piece of paper after I'm done sketching this out and we'll figure out how we want to lay this out. So at least my first thought is I kind of want like this really cute tired harpy mom like trying to fly her kids to school and she's kind of having none of it so oh man this is hard how do i want to do this so maybe we have like mom up here like very tired looking <laughs> and then maybe have the two kids down here just like maybe bickering and arguing with each other something like that or uh yeah, we could do that and maybe the mom is like carrying their backpacks <laughs> and maybe a lunchbox, like here's a, a lunchbox she's carrying. So maybe something like that. And then we got the two little harpy siblings duking it out in the sky and being like little, little pieces of crap <laughs> and driving their mom crazy. I think that'd be pretty cute. I'm already all about this like tired bird mom energy. <laughs> We're not even that far yet. <laughs> I remember uh, in the mornings, my brother and I would try to sneak some like Game Boy time. We would have our Game Boy colors and it drove my mom crazy. Like she hated having to like try to get the game away from us. Cause I mean, we both had our own, uh, but like we would try to use them until the very end. So maybe one of them is kind of holding on to his Game Boy. He doesn't want to let go <laughs> until he gets to school. Yeah, maybe something like that. Maybe one of them, one of the kids could have like a toothbrush still in his mouth or I don't know what, like there's always the anime of like, they have a piece of toast in their mouth or something. So my first thought, since they're like bird people, I mean, you would think it would have like a little rat in its mouth or some little rodent. Uh, uh Maybe just a piece of toast. Let's go for that typical anime look. I like the idea of square toast. Yeah. <laughs> and they're running late. I think this mom is 100% ready to just go home and have a little bit of me time. <laughs> screw doing the chores, screw doing any dishes. Go home and have a spa day, lady. You need it. All right, let's draw, just jump in and draw this very upset and tired mother. <laughs> She does not look pleased. <laughs> she just wants to be home, have her little spa day, not have to deal with her little mini <laughs> or little devils, I guess. And of course, you know, she probably had to get them out of bed and get them ready, pack their lunches. So she didn't really get a chance to really make her hair look nice. So she's got a little bit of messy uh, ponytail going on. <laughs> Some rogue hairs. <laughs> You know, I, I'm not a mom, I don't have any kids, but I remember how I was, so I sympathize for my mother. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I love it. Oh, what great, what a great one to start with. It just, it feels very expressive. The wings are a little daunting because I'm not used to drawing them at these different angles, but I also really appreciate this very upset monster mom. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in and let's finish this up with some line art and then we'll do a little bit of simple, I'm thinking for these on the inside, I really like the cover with just this simple gray. So I'm thinking we do simple gray for the inside as well, but maybe like one color, like one hit of color in different places. Like maybe his shirt's that color, maybe her scrunchie's that color or her purse. 
like maybe one to two colors max. So let me jump in and do the line art for this. So this is our first little drawing in this sketchbook. But I'm really liking this. It's just like kind of a fun and chill style, like doing very simple colors and some shading. Um, and then I really have been liking doing this really thick final outline around the whole shape. Like I don't really go in um, much into the character, but it's literally just all the outside outlines get this thicker line, which I also did on the cover here. And I was like, well, what if I did on the inside ones? And I'm like, oh my God, I love it. So I really like this. And then I had the idea, I'm like, why don't I just put the tweet that you guys send me right here? Because I mean, it's already being bled through on this side. Might as well put your guys's like tweet right here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have the image here and then like, um, maybe a little brief description that I uh, type up and print out and then your guys' tweet. So yeah. All right, first one is done. I really love this little harpy family. I think for this video, maybe we could do uh, one or two more. So let's find another suggestion. Let's go to, uh, let's check out Instagram for this one and see what you guys sent me on there. All right, so in terms of Instagram, you guys had a lot of cute ideas. God, this one's really tough. I know one of them though, that really stuck out to me that I think would be fun and is a nice like contrast to like this more, I guess cutesy one. I mean, I feel all of these are gonna be kind of cute, but I really liked um, Azart Masa, Azart, Azarte Masa. I'm sorry if I butchered your username. A troll doing CrossFit. I love it and I am really tempted and pumped or not tempted. I'm just, I'm a little intimidated by doing like workout poses and like workout machinery, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna do a troll doing CrossFit. So let's jump in and get that one started. All right, so for this one, my thought process, it'd be kind of fun if this was a, uh, kind of like a, I guess, a troll that just really wants to get in shape. And so he's uh, find it, like following the suggestion of his other totally ripped troll buddies and is like, yeah, bro, you should totally do CrossFit, man. Like, it's gonna really give you some serious gains. And it's gonna be this more like, kind of like a fat to fit story. Like this guy just really wants to get in shape, but you know, CrossFit is, is hard guys. I tried it and it is, it's brutal. I think it'd be really fun to also have like cheeks out. Cause I know like a lot of people, like there's certain moves that you have to hold your breath for or whatever, but God, it's, oh, it's brutal. I had a really tough time with CrossFit personally. I know it it is like some people swear by it, but I thought I was going to die. I think there was a few times I almost like threw up and died. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thinking he could do kind of like, what is it called, a clean? I have, I don't remember. And I have a, a few friends that do CrossFit and I don't remember any of the terminology, 
but it'd be fun to have kind of like our barbell here. But I think a, uh, to fit on the page a little better, like having more of like a lunging pose uh, would be kind of cool. So we'll try that out. Yeah, surprisingly, uh, during all this quarantine stuff, I've been trying to keep up with exercising. Some weeks are better than others. But yeah, I've had a few weeks in a row that I've done at least twice a week, which has been pretty good. And I encourage you guys during quarantine to do at least a little exercising, whether that's going outside and walking, or like if you're in Arizona, and you don't want to go outside during the 100 plus degree weather right now. <laughs> Maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe doing a little bit of aerobic exercises if you've got a, a pool. I don't know. <laughs> I know it's helped me a lot and uh, it helps my personal mental health just doing a little bit of anything, even if it's like, it doesn't have to be like crazy intense workout, but just a little bit can help a lot. So maybe instead, instead of like a, a fat to fit scenario, what if he's like one of those bigger, strong guys? You know, there's so many power lifters that aren't like, you know, twigs of muscle, you know? So maybe he's more of a, of a power lifter crossfitter. And still got a little bit of weight to him, but he's, he's damn strong. That might be cute too. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'd love for any of these characters, it'd be fun if you shared your story. I mean, I'll have a little bit uh, during my voiceover. Um, but I'd love to hear what you guys think for your own story for these guys. I gotta think of a, a term for his shirt before we do the line art. Like some cute in the gym. Maybe we could do a D and D pun. Like I only roll twenties in the gym. Oh, maybe that'd be cute. All right. I found the perfect shirt for this. Uh, there's this shirt I found by searching D and D nerdy tank top or exercise tank tops. And there's one that says, do you even crit? I'm doing it. I suck at hand lettering. My one weakness, maybe, maybe that's what I should do during all this quarantine stuff. Learn how to do better hand lettering. Okay. And then of course, since it is CrossFit, I feel we need to increase that weight there just a little bit. I know like, I think, don't quote me, I am not a CrossFit expert, but at least when I was there, it felt very much like you want to have the reps more so than the crazy weight, but they also push you on weight. So maybe we have, okay, we got our one dumbbell, or not dumbbell, we got our one. Oh my gosh, what is it called? The disc <laughs> with weight. <laughs> oh my God. Caitlin, you can't remember any words today. Oh, I love him. All right, let's jump in. Let's get some line art done uh, and finish up our crossfitting boy. There we go. We have our cute little cross-fitting troll. I really like him. And I think the do you even crit is just so perfect. It's like, ugh, I just love it. I'm so glad I found that. And I think we're gonna leave this one here for today. So I did our first two and our cover for today. Um, let me know if you guys like this video. I obviously have a few more pages, quite a few pages actually to go. Um, I'm going to be doing another video of this, at least one more before I have to send this in. Um, let me know if you 
uh, want to see all of these in video form or if I should keep them more of a secret. And uh, you guys have to go look it up on the Brooklyn uh, Library art page and see the digital version. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I would be totally down to make um, a video of all these. They're gonna be a little bit uh, after May as well. If I keep making videos of these, I just have to ship this in before August. But anyway, this is the first video of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to join. And if you guys have suggestions for these monsters and moments, there's still time to post it on Twitter. Um, I had a story thing on Instagram. I can repost that again. Um, but make sure to just go reply on Twitter. That's probably your best bet. But either way, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And I would love if you join our little community of monster and art enthusiasts. And I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. So I'd like to take a second to thank all my patrons over on Patreon. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the support. If you guys would like to get behind the scenes content, stickers, monthly sketch postcards, go check out my Patreon. And thanks again, guys, so much for stopping by and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.